the backstop. We then have the chance, I think, in the, in the next stage of the negotiations to do genuine global free trade deals. The suspicion is, and it's, it's voiced sometimes by, by your, your critics, is that actually there's not very much that Theresa May could do because the idea of, of leaving without a deal holds no fear for you and you'd be perfectly happy with that scenario so you're not willing to compromise. Well, I think that's, a, that's a, an exaggeration, if I may say. So I, I think there, there, there would be challenges in leaving uh, without a deal at all. Uh, But I don't think that is what is going to happen. I think under any circumstances, the UK and the EU will come to some sort of an arrangement. One of those challenges might be what happens to sterling. And David Davis has said today that there could be a 20% drop in the value of the pound, and that might not be such a bad thing. uh, You know, the the pound will will go where it will. Uh, And I think that, you know, yes, sometimes a depreciation of sterling can be useful for for exports, but it has other other consequences as well. But 20%, you uh, you live with 20% drop in sterling. That's not something, that's not the objective. It's not the objective, obviously, but it's one of the consequences. Could, could not, happen, couldn't it? Well, let's see. Actually, the, the pound uh, goes up and, and goes down depending on uh, lots of If it lots goes down facts. by 20%, people will notice it in the prices of food, won't they? Well, you know, it's, 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 well, sometimes you can have uh, very significant falls in the value of the pound without that passing being passed on in the form of inflation. But let, let, let's see. And another see. way that uh, food the, prices could go up would also be under WTO rules, which is, would come into operation in the event of no deal. And that would mean as much as 36% tariffs on dairy produce. Let, that, let's talk about that because it's incredibly important to realise that the UK and the EU are run by uh, responsible uh, human beings who want the best for their citizens, the best for their businesses. I really don't think it reasonable to suppose that on April the 1st, uh, they will decide collectively that they're going to allow uh, a great forest of uh, palisade of, of ta- tariffs to spring 